Davey Hamilton with us here at Oswego Speedway online. And Davey, uh, we've sort of, you know, kind of uh, come accustomed to seeing you around midsummer uh, and, of course, Classic Weekend. Uh, but it sounds like we'll be seeing you a lot sooner at Oswego this year. Yeah, we're gonna um, we're gonna come out and do the opener. Uh, it'll be I think the first time I've ever done that. I'm not sure, but uh, uh, the Nick team has a, a couple cars ready. It looks like and Auto uh, Auto's prepared to, to run two of them. So we're gonna we're gonna come out for the opener. Now, of course, you would run the classic from 07 to 2010, four consecutive years. Of course, returning after your injury, uh, you missed the classic last season. Uh, I believe only ran maybe one race during the regular season. So you've got to be itching to get back behind the wheel. Yeah, you know, last year was just a, a big transition year for me, and um, I think it obviously it's paid off. Uh, the, the work and the things I had to do and it jeopardized, you know, my behind the, the cockpit uh, or behind the wheel and in the cockpit. And, that was, you know, to form an IndyCar team, and we finally had that uh, that happened. So I missed the classic, and, and and I definitely missed it. Let me tell you, it's a race I love, and, and I'm not going to miss it this year. Um, fortunately, the IndyCar ownership, uh, the partnership with Spanish Men Motorsports and, and myself is going well, and um, I'm going to take that weekend off IndyCars, and I'm going to be there for the classics. I'm looking forward to it. Now, you, of course, ran your first race here at the Speedway back in 92. It actually was a classic, driving for Paul Dunnigan. Um, so you've been at the Speedway for a lot of years and kind of seen the ebbs and flows as time has passed. So talk about what it was like coming here last year and hopefully this year uh, and seeing all the Super Modifieds back in the pit area again. Well, you know, I think uh, Johnny and Eric uh, have done a tremendous job, first off, uh, of bringing Oswego back to the standards and, and to the quality of, of competition that everybody wants to see and, and, and just the facility itself being so improved is it, it's good for everybody especially, you know, I'm a, I'm a hardcore racer and so I, it's all I do, it's all I've done all my life and anytime you see a speedway, um, especially the stature of Oswego, um, you know get revamped and, and get the fans and the cars back is, uh, is tremendous and it's exciting to be part of it. Now, you talk about the uh, the quality of the field that we have here on a Saturday night. Talk about, you know, how difficult it is to come in as kind of a, kind of a one-off deal. I mean, obviously, Johnny and Otto have cars here every week, but, you know, you have to come in once or twice a year and kind of get up to speed pretty quickly. <laughs> well, I, 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 I haven't won. You know, I haven't won since I've drove for Johnny these last few years. And um, we've been close, and we've been up front, and we're competitive, but it's tough. Uh you know, whenever you find a person in the car week in, week out, I don't care what series or what group you're, you're in, anytime you show up on one-offs, which is what I do all over the country. I mean, I race midgets, sprint cars, silver crown, shooting lot fights, west coast, east coast, and it's for fun. I'm having a great time. Don't get me wrong, I still want to win, but it's very difficult to compete with these guys that are in those cars full-time, week in, week out. But as uh, long as I be competitive and at least have the opportunity to win, I'm having a good time. Now, I'm sure you've obviously you've answered this question a hundred times, but I think it always takes on kind of a new twist uh, as the Super Modified always continues to develop. But explain to the folks listening kind of the comparison between driving a Super Modified and an Indy car. I mean, obviously it's not a direct comparison, but it has to be one of the closer things out there. Yeah, you know, one thing that I think helps me become, you know, an Indy car driver out of Super Modified is you got to drive them straight. Uh, they have so much left side weight as Super Modified that, you can't drive them sideways or it gets you in big, big trouble. And, and that's the same thing with Indy cars. You know, you have to keep them straight. You have to keep them, uh, you know, a good balance in them. And, and one thing the Indy car doesn't have that the Super Modifieds have is the brute horsepower. Um, you know, the Super Modifieds, you know, 900, 950 horsepower now that, nowadays is, is pretty impressive when you step on the throttle with the Indy cars around 650 horsepower. But the difference is they have gear boxes and we run, you know, 230 miles an hour. So, um, there, there's a lot of differences, but it's a good training ground for, uh, you know, for Indy cars for sure. Now, of course, you mentioned all the open wheel experience that you've had, so clearly you have a, a tremendous feel for a lot of different race cars, but you've also driven the Super Modified of, of the 1990s and sort of the, the Super Modified of today. So, in, in your opinion, does, does the newer style Super Modified drive much differently than, say, the car you won the Classic with in 1997? <laughs> you know, the crazy thing. I was running at the same time since 1997 that I am today, and the cars are so different. Um, it's just, you know, I don't understand. We, we, the tires, I think, have got better. The, the engines are obviously, you know, they've been able to find more horsepower out of engines. 
And uh, but for whatever reason, from the first time I was there to today, it's it's the same speed. You know, it's, you always wanted to get in those sixteen second brackets. So it's pretty uh, it's pretty crazy. I think safety's came a long ways in the cars, which is very good. Um, you know, I've seen some rule changes, but when it comes down to the you know just the times, they're the same. Now, one thing I always like to ask anybody that we talk to is. Um why Oswego Speedway? I mean, you know, most times you're obviously coming from the West Coast, and it's quite the commitment, you know, both personally and professionally to come out to Oswego and race these cars. So why do it? Well, you know, I think the big thing is that Oswego is, you know, I mean, it's one of the few tracks that has survived all, you know, that has a lot of history, you know, like Knoxville and, and you know, Eldora's and so many, you know, so few tracks, I should say, have history like Oswego. So that's part of it, but... The biggest thing is super modified. Uh, that's what I was raised racing and what I love, and, and uh, did a lot of it on the West Coast. And when I had the opportunity, you know, to come, like you said, in '92 with Dunnigan, um, it was just a car that I was familiar with. Um, even though it was a, a West Coast car, I had all the laps and experience, and then um, you know, I wanted to try what what the what the East Coast coast was like, but no wings, and that's what attracted me to Oswego. Now, of course, you won the Classic in 97. It's your, your only win here at Oswego. It doesn't really get much bigger than that in our form of racing, but that was 15 years ago. Um, what would it mean to you to return to Victory Lane here, here at the Steel Palace, especially for a guy like Johnny Nacocher that, that you know, has really helped to support this Speedway so much? Well, you know, I, I won that race for Mike Muldoon, who's a great friend, and so it was nice being able to, you know, win for, for a buddy. And, and Johnny's a really great buddy, and... and um, you know, so if I was able to pull it off, it's what's it's about. It's about winning the race, and Otto was able to pull it off and, and drive his cars, and now I would I would like to do it, obviously. And it'd be big. It'd be huge. I mean, every time I get a race car, I want to win. And, and uh, you know, Beans is Johnny's car. Beans is a super modified, especially another one in Oswego. Uh, the classics is as, as good as it gets, so it'd be great. Now, Davey, you've obviously um, you've always been a proponent of open-wheel racing, a kind of like an ambassador, if you will, um, how do you see the state of open wheel racing in the United States right now? Um, you know, it, it, it's it's probably down a bit. I'll be honest with you. Oswego and Johnny and Eric have done a great job in the car count. The competition is really good. You know, in your guys' backyard, which the fans and the racers should be fortunate to be able to have that in their backyard. But um, um, overall, you know, I mean, I'm a pavement sprint car guy, and the West Coast Super Modifieds are struggling right now, and. You know, we just seen Irwin Dell, you know, our best, you know, really our palace on the West Coast get closed down this year. And, um, so uh, it's it's still um, it's still struggling, all, you know, all over the country, and it's surviving. I, I actually have a couple cars I'll be running in Oswego, um, wing sprint cars that, that are coming there this year. So that series seems to be strong. Uh, we're traveling. As a matter of fact, we start this weekend in Pensacola, Florida, and then go to Mobile, Alabama. But we're going to be in Oswego with those cars. That seems to be a fairly strong series, but USAC uh, pavement stuff struggling right now, and a lot of local local tracks are closing down, so it's still not good. But uh, hopefully, it starts to get stabilized here soon. You mentioned that uh, that King of Wings weekend that's going to be coming up here at Oswego on July seventh, pitting the the Extreme Sprint Car Series and the Isma Super Modifieds are going to be here as well. Um, which car do you see being faster at the Big O? Well, yeah, I'm telling you, the sprint cars have been breaking all the track records of the super modifieds. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. I, if it was an open competition, the super modifieds would definitely. Go. There, there's no question about it. But you know, I think that the, the super modifieds weight rule is really heavy compared to the sprint car weight rule, and um, and that I think that's a huge advantage. Now, time wise, when you qualify those sprint cars, you can hang them out a bit more in the super modified, and they seem to be breaking a lot of the super mod- or the, the super track records. But um, it's going to be tough to go faster than Super there because Supers have so much experience and time and experience at that particular racetrack. But uh, they're going to be close. It'll be, it'll be close. It's going to be interesting to see which car is faster. Just changing gears real quick, Davey, you mentioned earlier uh, the IndyCar ownership now. You've kind of teamed up with Sam Schmidt and Schmidt Hamilton Motorsports with Simon Pagino at the wheel. You guys currently sit fifth in points. Uh, very impressive. Uh, kind of give all of us, uh, Swego and Super Modified people, an update on that venture. Yeah, you know, it was, uh, Sam and I have been friends for a long, long time. Um, you know, we started racing in the IRL together, and, and um, it, it, he started a team. He's had a team here for a few years, and, you know, he's been struggling on sponsorship, and, and you know, he's, he's got some his disabilities. It makes it hard for, for him to get around and do really what it takes sometimes in the IndyCar series, even though what he does is he's done a great. But um, it just – there was a great opportunity for us to team up with Hewlett Packard and uh, – who has been a long time sponsor of mine, and we did it, and 
and uh, decided to get a full-time driver. And, and in IndyCar Series, um, there's a lot of great guys out there, but Simon was available, and we decided that, uh, you know, that's who we wanted, and that's what, uh, so far, so good. A uh, fifth and uh, Barber and a sixth and St. Pete, you know, we'll take it. Now, will we be seeing you behind the wheel of an IndyCar at all, possibly again at the 500? Well, you know, the, the opportunity is there. The, the, the possibilities are there. It's, uh, it, it, uh, the sponsorship's even there. It just depends on, you know, it's a transition for Indy cars this year as well um, with new engines, new uh, car combinations. And I just don't know, we don't know if there's going to be an engine available for me to run, which would be sad, but on the side of the coin, um, you know, it was a business decision for the league to, to go to this new format. And they're, they're going through some growing pains this first year. And, um, We'll just see. It, will, I, it doesn't look positive, positive but um, we'll just have to wait and see. We'll know in the next few weeks for sure. Outstanding. Well, and I see also your son, uh, Davey Jr., is getting some seat time now in the open wheel ranks. Um, what's he been up to lately, and do you think we uh, may eventually see him here at Oswego in a Super Modified? Well, I hope I hope he makes it that far. He's in the Ford Focus, uh, USAC Ford Focus uh, series right now. He's going to run that full-time nationally, and then uh, he runs up. Uh, a 600 mini sprint uh, on the dirt, and he runs go karts on road course. And he's been, you know, fortunately he's been successful and been able to win in all of them. And uh, it's pretty exciting. He's uh, he has a busy schedule this year. And if the focus is running at Oswego, he would definitely be there. Uh, I definitely bring him. But uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully, you know, it's, uh, he's not ready yet by any stretch. He just turned 15, so um, and, you know, as he gets older, a little more experience. Hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully, I have the opportunity to come there and race as well. Well, Davey, we, uh, we appreciate you taking the time talking to us about your opening day ventures and your IndyCar team and your son and everything else. And uh, we certainly look forward to having you here at Oswego Speedway on uh, Saturday, May 5th. Thank you again. Okay, we, uh, I look forward to it.